back everyone. Today we are going to do the book exercise given on page number 148 of chapter 11, Area and its Boundary. The book exercise is given under the heading Practice Time and we are beginning with question A. Arbaz plans to tile his kitchen floor with green square tiles. Remember the tiles are square in shape. Each side of the tile is of 10 cm. His kitchen floor is 220 cm long and 180 cm wide. How many tiles does he need? This is the question. For finding the answer, we first need to find the area of the kitchen floor. Then we will find how much area does one square tile cover. And to get the number of tiles, we will divide the area of the kitchen floor with the area of a tile. So let's begin everybody. First we are going to write the given information. So length of the kitchen floor. How much is that everyone? It is 220 centimeter. Now we will write breadth of the kitchen floor or width you can say. Breadth and width are one and the same thing. How much is that? It is 180 centimeter. Now we find the area of the kitchen floor. And beta, it will be L into B. Let's put the values now. 220 centimeter will be multiplied by 180 centimeter. Just observe how many zeros are there? Two zeros. Let's put these two zeros already. So that the calculations are not complicated at all. Now, Look at the two numbers we are left with. 22 multiplied by 18. You all know the table of 18. So 18 twos are 36. 6 you write and 3 you carry. 18 twos are 36 again. 36 plus 3 would be 39. So the area of the kitchen floor is 39,600 square centimeter. If you are not able to calculate the answer like this, you can do it this way also. By putting the numbers in columns and then find the product. 18 to the 36, 3 you carry. 18 to the 36 plus 3 is 396 and two zeros are already there. Fine, these two zeros I have already put in the product. Now, what next? We will write the side of the tile. It is 10 centimeter. Area of the tile. The formula is going to be S into S. Why beta? Because it, this tile is square in shape. So let's put the values 10 centimeter multiplied by 10 centimeter and 10 into 10 gives us 100 square centimeter. Now we know the area of the kitchen floor. We also know the area of one tile. So let's find the number of tiles needed or required. So what are we going to do? We will divide area of the kitchen floor with 
the area of the tile. So let's put the values. It was 300, sorry, 39,600 square centimeter divided by 100 square centimeter. Now, let's cancel the equal number of zeros from the numerator and denominator. So, two zeros gets cancelled with the two zeros in the numerator. What are we left with? We are left with the number 396 divided by 1. And when any number gets divided by 1, the answer will be the number itself. So, how many tiles do we need? 396 tiles. Now we are on question B, which you are required to do in your homework notebook on your own. I am going to explain it to you. The fencing of a square garden is 20 meters long. What is fencing? Fencing is a kind of like barrier which is made around a piece of land. You use a wire sometimes, you use wood also. Now, this fencing is 20 meters long and the garden is square in shape. As I told you, the fencing is done at the boundary. That means what have they told us? They have told us the perimeter of the square garden. Now, what are we required to find? How long is each side of the garden? So, beta, you know how to do it. You know the perimeter, you are required to find the side. So, first you will write, perimeter of the square garden is equal to 20 meters. Side of the square garden is equal to, write the formula, Perimeter divided by 4. So 20 meters will be divided by 4 and you will get your answer. Now we are on question C. The question is, a thin wire 20 centimeters long is formed into a rectangle. Just imagine that this wire is 20 centimeter long. And I form... A rectangle with this. So we have this rectangle which is made with a 20 centimeter long wire. If the width of this rectangle is 4 centimeters, what is its length? Now just observe everyone. This rectangle was made with a 20 centimeter long wire. So what do we know? We know the perimeter of the rectangle. Because with this wire only we have made the rectangle. So let's write part C answer. So perimeter... is equal to 20 centimeter. We also know the width of the rectangle. How much is that better? It is 4 centimeter. What are we required to find? We need to find the length of the rectangle. Now, what is the formula when perimeter is given? Divide the perimeter by 2 and from that we are going to subtract the given dimension. The given dimension is width. It's up to you. Either you write B or you write small w. Both the ways are right. So, I'll put the value in the formula. 20 centimeter divided by 2 minus 
width was 4 cm. So half of 20 or 20 divided by 2 will give us 10 cm. From 10 cm I am going to subtract 4. My answer will be 6 cm everyone. Question D is a square carom board has a perimeter of 320 centimeter. How much is its area? So what is given to us in this question? They have told us about the perimeter and they want us to find the area. But can we find the area directly with the help of perimeter? No. Why? Because the area of a square is equal to S into S. So for finding the area, we first need to know its side. So let's find the side with the help of perimeter everyone. So we'll write the given information. Perimeter or square carrot board. How much is that? It is 320 centimeter. Now from the perimeter how do we find the side? Side of square carom board. Do you know the formula? Beta. It is perimeter divided by 4. So let's put the value 320 centimeter divided by 4. You can either go for cancellation. If you find that difficult, please get the answer by long division method. Let's do it both the ways. 4 ones are 4. I am dividing the numerator and the denominator with the common divisor. That means the factor 4. So 4 ones are 4. 4 eights are 32. 4 zeros are 0. So according to this, the side is coming as 80 centimeter. Now let's do the same thing with long division method. 4 eights are 32. 32 minus 32 is 0. I bring down the 0. For this I make the entry here. 4 zeros are 0. So we got the same answer that is 80 centimeter. Now I rub this. Because we are also required to find area of the square carom board. So, area of square carom board, board is equal to S into S. Let's put the values in the formula. 80 centimeter into 80 centimeter. Now look everybody, we'll remove these zeros and directly write them in the product first so that we are left with 8 into 8. 8 eights are 64. So our answer is 6400 square centimeter is the area of this square carom board. Now we move to question E. The answer of this question is required to be written in the book itself. Now let me explain what are they asking. How many tiles like the triangle given here will fit in the white design? Do you see this yellow triangle in the book? Now they are asking how many such triangular tiles will fit in the white design? So you just find out and write the answer there. Below that, there is one more question. Draw designs or your own designs you are required to draw of area 4 and 6 square centimeter. Fine. So in your homework notebook, you will be drawing two designs each of 4 square centimeter and 6 square centimeter. Question F. Sandhya, Arushi, Kabir and Manav made greeting cards. Complete the table for their cards. 
Students, this question is required to be done in the book. Fine. So, let's look at this table everybody. There are five columns in this table. The first column is for whose card? Like who is making that particular card? Fine. The names are here. The next column is for the length of the card. The next one is for width of the card. The fourth column is for perimeter. And the last one is for area. So let's look at Sanya's card. The length of the card is 10 cm. The width of the card is 8 cm. Now we need to find the perimeter and area of the card. So let's write the information here. Length is equal to 10 cm. Breadth is equal to 8 cm. So let's find the perimeter everybody. What is the formula? Twice or length plus breadth. Let's put the values in this formula. Length is 10 cm. Breadth is 8 cm. Now 2 times 10 plus 8 makes it 18 cm. And twice of 18 is equal to 36 cm. So the perimeter of Samya's card is 36 cm. Now we will be finding area. The formula for finding area is equal to L into B. So L is 10 cm. Breadth is 8 cm. 10 times 8 is equal to 80 square cm. So I write here 80 square centimeter. Now the information required for Sanya's card is complete. Now we move to Manav's card. Now what all do we know about Manav's card? We know length of the card is 11 centimeter. We have to find the width. We also know the perimeter of the card which is 44 centimeter. We have to find the area of the card also. But children, with this information, we cannot first find the area of the card. For finding area, we need to know length as well as width. So first we will have to find the width with the help of perimeter and length. What is the formula for finding width everybody when perimeter and length are given? Perimeter divided by 2 and from this we will subtract the length. Perimeter is 44 cm divided by 2 minus length is 11 cm. Half of 44 is equal to 22 cm. From 22 cm I am going to subtract 11 and 22 minus 11 is 11 cm. That means the width of this card is equal to the length of the card. Which shows the card is square in shape. Now let's find the area. Area of a square card is equal to S into S. Even if you write L into B, we cannot put a cross because here the length is equal to Width. Okay. So both ways you can write here. Now 11 cm into 11 cm is equal to. Let's do the calculations. 11 into 11. 11 ones are 11. One I write. One I carry. 11 ones are 11 plus 1 makes it 12. So the answer is 121 square centimeter 121 square centimeter. Now the information for Manav's card is also complete. Let's see what information is given for Arushi's card. We know the width of the card. We know the area of the card and we are required to find the length and the perimeter. 
we cannot find the perimeter directly with these two things. Why? Because for finding the perimeter, we need to know both the dimensions. Because the formula for finding the perimeter is 2 times the sum of length and breadth. So that's why let's write the given information first of all. Width is equal to 8 centimeter. Area is equal to 80 square centimeter. Now with this information we will first find the length. When area, is, area and width are given what do we do? We divide the area with the given width. So let's put the values here. Area is equal to 80 and width is equal to 8. So let's divide them with the highest common divisor or highest common factor you can say. 8 ones are 8 and 8 tens are 80. So the length of Arushi's card is 10 centimeter. So let's fill this information here. Now we know the length and breadth. With this we are going to find the perimeter. The formula for finding the perimeter is 2 times the sum of length and breadth. So let's put the values in the formula. Length came as 10 cm and breadth was 8 cm. So 2 into 10 plus 8 is 18 cm. So 2 into 18 or 2 times 18 gives us 36 cm. So let's fill this information. It is 36 cm. Now we are going to find information about Kabir's card. We know the perimeter of the card. We know the area of the card. We have to find the length as well as the width. So let's write the given information. Perimeter is equal to 40 cm. Area is equal to 100 square cm. We don't know whether the card is square in shape or it is rectangular in shape. So with this information provided to us, what are we going to do? We cannot find either the length or the width with the help of this, same is the case with area. So, I am going to write the factors of area. That is 100. I am going to write the factors of 100. And then see with which combination will I get the perimeter as 40 centimeter. So, let's write the factors of 100 everybody. 1 into 100 2 into 50 with 3 it's not possible. Yeah, 4. 4 into 25. 5 as it is ending in 0. So yes, with 5 it's possible. 5 into 20. 6 as 2 and 3 both are not the factors of 100. So 6 is not the factor of 100. 7 not possible. 8, not possible. 9, not possible. 10, yes. 10 times 10 gives us 100. When I observe that the numbers are repeated, so I will stop writing the factors here itself. Now, I will consider these two as the combinations of length and breadth. Now let's check with which combination do I get the perimeter as 40 cm. What is the formula for finding the perimeter everyone? 2 into L plus B. So L plus B is 100 plus 1 is 101. 101 into 2 will give us 202. But our perimeter should be 40 centimeter. Next is L plus B. 50 plus 2 will be 52. And then I multiply this sum with 2. 2 into 52 
gives me 104. But I want the perimeter to be 40. So this, these two combinations are not suitable according to this card. I move to the next one. 25 plus 4 is 29. 29 into 2 gives us 58. But my perimeter should be 40 centimeters. So this combination is also not right. I check the next combination. 20 plus 5 is 25. 25 into 2 gives us 50. Again, this combination is also not correct. The last one is 10 plus 10. 10 plus 10 is 20. And 20 multiplied by 2 gives us 40. So that means this combination of length and breadth is correct. So I write here 10 centimeter and here as well 10, 10 centimeter. So what does it show? It shows that the card is square in shape as length is equal to its width. Have you all understood? Why did we write the factors? We wrote the factors so that we get the combinations of length and breadth. Fine. Now we selected only that combination wherein the perimeter was coming as 40 cm. What is the formula for finding perimeter? It is 2 into L plus B. So we calculated and we reached the conclusion that the length and breadth are equal. They are of 10 cm each. I hope everybody would have understood. Thank you so much. Good luck. Practice these concepts at home and do the given homework.